Meanwhile, new at four, there is surging confusion and major frustration over our state's vaccine rollout. Meanwhile, Governor Jay Inslee received a vaccine dose without any hiccups today, but that is not the reality for many. Good afternoon. Thanks for being with us. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. I'm Greg Copeland. Governor Inslee is eligible for the vaccine under phase 1B of the state's plan. So are many others, but they're having a heck of a time getting vaccinated and in some cases have made appointments only to have them be canceled. We've have had dozens of viewers contact us with concerns. Kayla Lafferty is live in Kent with just one man's story. Kayla. Well, a man named Rex Carlin reached out to us uh, and I talked to him today. He found the Kent family practice on the State Department of Health website as a place giving out COVID-19 vaccines and he made an appointment for his 89 year old grandfather to get his dose here. But once he booked the appointment, he never got a confirmation email. He called and emailed but never heard back. So a family member came to the clinic trying to figure out what was going on and found a sign on the door. The sign said, if you have a pending appointment, do not enter the building. Your appointment is not approved, is not confirmed, and will not take place today. The frustration for us to find out that this appointment that we scheduled um, isn't happening, but that we don't actually know anything from the doctor's office perspective is extremely frustrating. To make people go down there in person and find out as they're walking in that they don't get a vaccine is horrid. Well, of course, here at King 5, we're committed to getting you answers to your questions about all things vaccine. And I got a question to Car or I got an answer to Carlin's question. I was actually able to speak to the doctor here in charge of Kent Family Practice. And he says a lot of the issue here has to do with the state. And I'll have his answer coming up at five. For now, live in Kent, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News. Kayla, thank you. Here in Washington, 335,000 people have been vaccinated. That is roughly half the number of doses that have been delivered here to our state. More than 126,000 people have been vaccinated in King County. That's roughly 5% of the population. In Snohomish County, there have been 24,000 vaccinations, 37,000 in Pierce County, 9,500 in Thurston County, and almost 5,000 people have received the COVID vaccine in Skagit County. There's also a dire warning from King County Public Health today. Health officials say there could be a new surge of COVID cases linked to that new variant, calling it a, quote, Mount St. Helens type eruption. So King 5's Glenn Farley is joining us now. Glenn, quite the analogy they're using, really showing us the magnitude of the problem here. And on top of that, we've had this messy vaccine rollout. Yeah, and the, and the vaccine rollout does not promise to get any messier anytime soon. Yes, more places are being stood up, but is there going to be the vaccine to get into those places? Call it a vaccine roller coaster, if you will. Now, let me show you some pictures here. <laughs> this is the question. How many vaccine shots can we get into arms before that expection eruption of new cases takes over? King County is administering vaccines through many channels from hospitals and clinics to firefighters reaching out to group homes with older adults. But uh, Dr. Jeff Duchin of King County Public Health says we will never know how many doses his, he never knows how many doses his apartment will get week to week as another 300,000 adults over the age of 65 and some others were just made eligible for the vaccine in King County alone. But our main challenge now is not enough vaccine. It persists to be the main roadblock in rolling out vaccination more quickly to more people. We don't know week to week what to expect and we cannot forecast future allocations. For example, our weekly allocations have ranged between 12,000 and 73,000 doses. Now, the state is in the same position. State Department of Public Health says they don't know next week how many doses they are going to end up with next week. But that doesn't mean the efforts to roll out those vaccines, and there are still some on the shelves, is stopped. Now, Pierce County, just here in the last hour, announced that they are going to do two mass vaccine events. They are as follows. Um, 
Uh, they're going to do it with MultiCare, Virginia Mason, and CHI Franciscan. They are January 26th at Clover Park Technical College in Lakewood and January 28th at Washington State Fair Event Center in Puyallup. We will have more coming up on the specifics, hours, etc. on those two events on king5.com. Meanwhile, live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Thank you, and we are committed to bringing you the latest information on the vaccine. If you have a story idea or a concern you'd like us to look into, send us an email to vaccine at king5.com. And if you'd also like to read up and check out all the helpful links we have on our website, text vaccine to 206-448-4545. We will send you a link to your phone.